Today we're gonna to take a look at how I fix the leaky pipe on my boiler. I found that this pipe right here has a small pinhole on the back of it and is shooting a stream of water out. Now before I move on with the video, I've gotta mention that I'm not a professional. So take everything that you see in this video for entertainment value only. If you're facing a problem like this, I suggest that you get help from a true professional plumber. What I'm gonna be doing today is what I'm gonna consider a temporary fix to buy me some time until I can plan to do the job the right way. Now the leak itself is back here on this section of pipe that goes right into the furnace. Hopefully you can see it there. The pipe has a pinhole in it right on the back here right by my furnace and is spraying onto the furnace body and then leaking down here onto the floor. I've shut off the water supply to the furnace for now so that there's no pressure in the system. Hopefully the camera is focused well enough there and I've got enough light so you can see the corroded section of the pipe. Now the right way to fix this would be to replace this whole section of pipe or maybe cut that bad section out where it's corroded and splice in a new piece. But that's kind of a big job, especially for me, I'm not a plumber. So what I think I'm gonna do is run to the hardware store and see if I can get some pipe wrap to fix this up. And then that way I can plan to replace this piece of pipe when I have more time to do the job the right way. So I just got back from the hardware store and I got some Bondit rescue tape. Hopefully this stuff will work. It says that it's rated for up to 950 PSI, 500 degree Fahrenheit, and not that it applies here, but 8,000 volts. Hopefully it should work and be pretty easy to apply. Let's check it out and see what happens. Now I apologize for the bad camera angle, there's just too many things in the way back here to get the camera pointed right at where the problem is, but it is right here, sort of on the back of this pipe. Now before I put any of the tape on, I'm just going to try and clean up the area around the pipe with a little bit of fine grit sandpaper. Now this is still a little bit wet, because even though the water is turned off to the furnace, there's still a little bit of pressure in there. But this package says we can apply this tape wet, so I'm gonna give it a try and see if it works. So you can see the way this stuff works is that it's got sort of a non-sticky side, and then I think it's got a coated side here with this plastic adhesive over it. So because the furnace body is in the way, it's a little hard to work with this. I already tried one piece and had a kind of a problem. So what I think I'm gonna do is try and pull back as much as I can here. I'll separate the cellophane from it and cut myself off a length to work with. I'm gonna start as close to the control box as I can and I'm gonna wrap this around. I'm gonna try and be careful not to fuse it onto itself until it's around the pipe. I'm gonna stretch it as much as I can because according to the instructions that'll create the best uh, seal. And I'm gonna try and overlap the wraps by 50% or so. And we'll just keep working around the pipe until I run out of tape. Now one thing you can see, probably, is that the leak is still kind of active as I wrap this around. But we're also, according to the instructions, supposed to be able to apply this wet. So hopefully that won't be an issue. Okay, now that I'm away from the furnace body, it's much easier to get these wraps and keep them tight. Okay, now for this last wrap, I'm gonna get this 100% overlapped so that there's no extra hanging around and the tape fuses to itself. Now while this first wrap sets up, I'm actually gonna wrap a second layer around here in the opposite direction to see if that adds some strength to the repair. This may be overkill for a copper pipe like this, but I don't know, I've got enough tape and uh, I figured we might as well just try it. So I'm gonna let this sit for maybe a half an hour or so before I try and turn the water back on and restore full pressure to the system here. We'll give this stuff a time to kind of set and fuse itself together. It's been about 45 minutes. The tape feels like it's fully cured, so I turned the water back on to get full pressure into here. And so far, I'm not seeing any signs of any leaking either where the leak was here or at the ends of the tape. I'll keep an eye on this for a little while longer, but I think this is going to solve the problem for now until I can get this pipe replaced.